good. That's good. good. They made me proud. They put up 56. So. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't too much to say about that score. But it's all good, though. I'll be back next time. Glad you're here to support your team, man. Yeah, Even man. in the midst of adversity, and God is going to work it out. Yeah. We'll see you next week, son. Yeah. You got some makeup to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You <laughs> this one. Homecoming. First time out on Southside. You home, baby. Man, I'm I, mean, I, I told you this is a special feel for me. Um, my homecoming today, I think we did a great job, man. You know, uh, guys came out and executed. 44 in the first half. I heard of him, a little history. You know, uh, so we getting it done, man. We just taking it game by game and getting ready for Anacostia. You know, they did something, you know what I'm saying? They had a discrepancy with my guy, DeJuan Thor, my man number three, my right hand man. You know, but we, 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 we fought through it and uh, he'll be back next week. So, all you guys out there, y'all look out for that man. Because he mad now. Got the W, you know what I'm saying? So I'm happy. Give yeah, hurry by 50. They, but they, they speed it. They talk about game over. Come on now.
come out here, you got an undisciplined stuff. You know what I'm saying? An undisciplined, you want to gather something in your hands and talk. You got to eliminate that, though. Because if we're trying to get to where we got to go, if we play a team that's even with us, that's going to kill us. You see what I'm saying? Yes, you, you think you can turn it on and off. Once you turn the hand of things, you can't turn it on and off. You see what I'm saying? Yes, I'm telling you, man, they partnering us. They will fill us. They'll do everything they can to get us out of the game. And we right now we call it in that trap. We call it right into that trap. We're a southeast team. That's what they expect from us, all right? Let's give them something different, man. For real. Hey, Stone. You ain't that Johnson no more, Joe. It's time to grow up. You a senior. What y'all did was selfish and it messed our goal up. It messed our goal up. All jokes aside, our goal is 50 every week. I just told y'all in the locker room. Didn't I just tell y'all that? As soon as we get out here. Straight up, man. We gotta have some plans about ourselves, for real. For real. And you are a senior. The 10th and 9th graders are looking at you. And that's the example you set. You did it and the 10th grader did it behind you. He don't know no better. He's still wet behind the ears. But you should know better. You should know better. Congratulations, y'all. Game over. <laughs> you hyped to go home? <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna hype, you probably be quiet. Together we stand. Together we stand. One team. One team. One goal to win. One goal to win. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Who, Father? Our Father. Who I am. I will be that name. I came to come. That will be done. On earth. That is in heaven. Use his day. I did the bread. We are trespasses. You are trespasses against us. We are in temptation. What do we need? I think. Father, Lord, Father, Lord. Amen. Hard work on three, dog. That's what take. Keep you getting this championship. That's our goal. Hard work gonna get us there. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work! Ooh, baby, what a game. Hey, what a game. <laughs> I love that y'all know how it is on Anacostia Field, man. We do damage, Joe. I love this field, man. But anyway, it was a good game. About to go home, go to sleep. <laughs> Give me something to eat. You know how I do. I love to eat, you know what I'm saying? As y'all can see on cameras and whatnot, I always got a plate of food in my hand. About to go to sleep. Get in there. Thank the Lord for this victory, and I'm out of here. At Blue High School in Washington, D.C., the top defensive tackle in the country, Marvin Austin, remains uncommitted. But with National Signing Day less than three months away, Austin knows the competition for him will intensify. There you go. There I know it's going to get more competitive, and, you know, people are going to be, you know, slinging mud, per se. <laughs> In reality, the mudslinging has already started. Some coaches say, why would you go to that school? You're a bigger name than that, you know? Or why would you uh, consider that school? They don't have this and we have this and we make this much amount of money and we can, you know, we go to bowl games and stuff like that. This is a business good work, good work, based upon winning. And the way you win is to get the best possible football players. So the tactics that are used in order to get them may not always be pretty. If you're going to recruit, you, you might as well do it the right way. Because trying to negative recruit and stuff like that, that shies kids away. Any tactic used where it's negative against somebody else and you're not spending your time focusing on the positive aspects of recruiting, uh, it doesn't help anybody. All you end up doing is making yourself look bad. All you end up doing is not representing your university in the way you'd like to. A couple of days ago, you know, I was a wreck. You know, I was an emotional wreck. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where I wanted to go. I'm like, I want to go here, I want to go there, but if I go here, then this might happen and that might happen. You know, so with my, with my decision, I basically, I tried to take football out of the equation. You know, take football out of the equation and think about where I wanted to be for the next four years of my life. Marvin, thanks for your time. It's down to a handful of schools. Maryland, Tennessee, USC, UNC, Florida State. Where are you going to school? Um, with a lot of hard thought from my coaches, my family, um, my teammates next year. I will be, be attending the University of North Carolina. Well done with the hat reveal, Marvin. Why do you want to be a Tar Heel? Um, I mean, with a lot of hard thought, you know. Um, uh, I just think it was the best decision for my family, for myself. You know, academically, I think I can uh, do a lot of things there. I just took football out of the equation, and I thought, you know, just in case I, anything happens, I might get hurt or anything like that. I mean, I just took football out of the equation and said, where would I want to be for the next four years of my life? Uh, being there, living there, being a student there in North Carolina, it just came down to North Carolina, Florida State. And uh, I, I, I thought about it, prayed on it, 
North Carolina was the best decision for me. I talked to Coach Blake, Coach Davis, all those guys down there, and I think they're gonna do some good, good things down there, some good, good things down there, and we're getting a lot of recruits down there, man. Watch out for the Tigers. Well, they certainly are. I know you said it's not all about football, but about football. Butch Davis, what was it you liked about him? Um, Coach Davis, he seemed like a genuine guy when we talked. Uh, right when he got the job, he came up, spoke to me, spoke to me and uh, one of my coaches, and we just got a chance to talk, and we, we actually we hit it off, you know. I'm, I'm interested in broadcasting, and he was he just coming from the field. He could teach me a lot about the field. You're taking Luganville's spot. I have no problem <laughs> with that. When did you start playing football, Marvin? I actually started playing football in middle school. I wasn't going to play football, ironically, you know. I was, I was thinking about playing in the band, you know. I, 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 music is my first love. But my, my uncle, he, he convinced me, and I, I, after the first day, I started, I just fell in love with him, man. What, what part of music do you love? Um, I, I just like music uh, all around, you know. I just like uh, the harmony, the, the, the beat, you know. It, I'm a passionate guy. Music, uh, it brings a lot of passion to me. You, you sing? Do you play an instrument? I'm, I'm a drummer. I'm Excellent. A drummer, man. Excellent. Uh, I know you're close with your mom. What have you learned from her? Um, I just learned how to be diligent, how to work hard, you know, how to strive and, and, and try to be the best that I can be. I've seen her do a lot of things. I mean, every day, you know, she, she gets up, she wakes me up some days, and she's just doing it out of, uh, I mean, with the grace of God. And, I mean, I think she raised me well. Hats off to both of my parents, my mother and my father, and I, I, I love them to death, man, and I do anything for them. You switched high schools before this year. Why? Um, basically... One of the, uh, well, two of the assistant coaches at my old high school um, got a coaching job at um, my new high school. My new high school is actually my neighborhood school. And when those two assistants left, you know, I mean, they've taught me a lot outside of the game of football. Took me places that I've, I never would have been able to go. I've never been able to go. And um, one of them, he's the reason why I'm here right now. You know, took me all around, Coach Todd Amos. Took me to combines and all that. And whoever knows me, they know him. So I think uh, just me being the lawyer guy that I am, I thought that, I mean, I could do a lot of things over there at Baloo. And we saw we won the championship first time in Baloo history. Marvin, how fast are you? I'm pretty fast, man. Um, I run a 200. I run a uh, 255. I clocked in about... 24, 24 low, something like that. You know, I'm trying to get it down to 23. Trying to be the fastest defensive tackle ever. Okay. To play the game. And and you weigh how much? Um, at that time I was wearing probably about 290. Right now I'm wearing about uh, 222. I'm gonna get that down about 295 to be my playing weight. Okay. So you run that fast and you weigh that much. How is that possible? Um, a lot of hard work, man. You know, just. Not missing any practices, working hard every day. Um, I got a track coach in David Baum who is phenomenal, works with kids in the Anacostia area. And I just went down there and I, I told him, Coach Baum, get me fast. And it, it's, it's worked out. Marvin, what are your goals for next year? Um, my goals for next year, just to, to, to learn how to play the position of defensive tackle, um, become a student of the game, work hard, be an academic All-American as a freshman. Marvin Austin, a top 10 recruit going to Chapel Hill. Enjoy your time. Thanks for giving us some of your time today, Marvin. All right, man. Thank you, and y'all have a blessed day.
Stone. Stone. 